Hello everyone and welcome again to another tips and tricks video from Switch. As always, my name is Ken over here and for this particular video, I am going to help you by giving you some tips and tricks on how to wipe or format or put it this way, clean your external pen drive or hard drive. Well, let's put it this way. A lot of us wants to share files. You can use AirDrop technology, which we can cover in another video, but some of you are preferring to use the old physical way, where you use a USB hard drive, plug it into your Apple computer, and plug it to a friend's computer. But then you notice that, oh no, I can't transfer files, I can't read the hard drive, what is wrong? Well, this video will show you some tips and tricks that can avoid these problems and teach you how to wipe and format your external hard drive or pen drive. Let's get started. So right now what you're seeing is my standard operating system running macOS Sierra 10.12. As with all my previous videos, I'll be using a few teaching aids. From time to time, if I click my mouse, you'll see a feedback on the screen. And also, you'll see me zooming in and zooming out to focus your attention on certain parts of the operating system interface. Now, let's get back to the topic, which is showing you how you can prepare a pen drive or external hard drive. It's actually quite easy. You need to go to this utility. Right now, I've actually prepared an external hard drive. It's plugged into my USB port. So to launch this utility, there's a few ways. The easiest, click on Spotlight and type this utility. This will give you the first result, which is the this utility application. Hit the Enter key on the keyboard to launch it. Alternatively, if you want to find this utility manually, all you need to do is just click on Go go to utilities and inside there find the this utility application double click on it to open it now the this utility application is a very very important application this is where you can erase format or prepare your drive it could be an external hard drive it could be a pen drive so right now you can see here i got an external hard drive this is my one terabyte usb external physical disk so if I want to prepare it, it's actually a very simple matter. I select the root, that means the main, the primary physical device, which is this one terabyte hard drive. I click on erase and I give it a name. Maybe I want to name it, can't. And I choose a volume format, partition scheme, and any security options that I want, and I click on erase. Once it finishes running through the progress bar, that's it, it's already prepared. Now, while that may be easy, there are a few things that you need to watch out, especially when it comes to volume format and partition scheme. So once this is done, I'll go and explain to you. So back again, I already formatted it. You can see that the volume name is called Cant. And you can see that on my desktop, that is my one terabyte drive. So a physical drive, a physical external drive can have multiple volumes. And this is where you need to be very, very careful with the settings because when you click on erase, it's irreversible. You cannot undo, you will lose your data. So let's go back, let me click on partition. Partition allows you to split your drive. So let's say I have a one terabyte drive. I want to split it to two different portions, maybe equal 500 gigabyte. I just click on the plus button here and voila, I already have a split, an equal split of 500 gigabyte. Of course, I could manually give it a different size. So let's say I want this to be 400 gigabyte, press enter. You can see that the pie chart here has changed. I can give it a name, in this case for untitled, I'll name it switch. And that leads to the volume format. By default, you will always select macOS Extended Journal. This is what you should be using if you want to prepare your drive for use on a Mac and only for a Mac. The remaining options like Journal Encrypted, Case Sensitive, these are optional and I do not recommend this, especially if you're using a Mac for daily personal use. Stick to macOS 10 Journal. It's more than enough. You'll notice that I'm not talking about XFAT and MS-DOS. I'll come back to that in a short while. So when I click on Apply and click on Partition, it's going to apply what I've set just now, which is we're going to see one physical hard drive, which I selected, 
you will have two different volumes. Right now, you can see that it's actually applying all the settings, modifying it. And once it's done, you can see that you appear not only in this utility, but also on my desktop. So right now I have two, Cant and Switch. So it's very easy to prepare a hard drive. Now, let's go in a little more deeper. I'm not gonna click on Partition now, I'm gonna click on Erase. So, same thing, whenever you click on Erase, you will assume that you only have one partition. So I'm gonna go back to a single partition of Cant and volume format, this is where I need to explain. Remember just now I say that you should always use Mac OS X Extended Journal? That is the default. It uses a partition scheme called GUID Partition Map. These two are matching. This is what an Apple computer can always read and understand. If, however, you want a Windows computer to be able to read your external hard drive, you will need to change this. Otherwise, a Windows computer will assume your external hard drive is corrupted. That's because it can't read it. So if you want a Windows computer to read it, first of all, change your partition scheme from GUID partition map, change it to master boot record. This is a very neutral and very good partition scheme if you want it to be readable in Windows. You will also need to change the format. You must not use Mac OS X Extended. Instead, use either XFAT or MS-DOS FAT format. There are two differences here. Well, first of all, MS-DOS is intended for older drives because it supports a maximum file size of four gigabyte per file. So if you plan to connect your external hard drive, maybe it's a very old pen drive, 256 megabyte, and you want to connect it to a very old Windows computer running Windows XP, chances are you need to format as MS-DOS FAT because maximum file size is four gigabyte per file. If, however, you're trying to connect to Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, use XFAT. XFAT allows file size beyond four gigabyte. When you combine master boot record and XFAT, you will create a hard drive that can be read and written to by Windows as well as Mac. If, however, you switch to GUID and Mac OS X Extended, this will only work only in Apple. You will not work in Windows. So with that being said, hopefully you understand how to prepare an external hard drive or pen drive for use for storing data. Again, there's no right or wrong answer. It really depends on your use and your needs. So I hope that you have learned something today on this tips and tricks video. Please support us by following us on social media, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, so on and so forth. Please leave some comments, like us, and let us know what you want to know in future videos. Thank you all for watching, and this is Ken from Switch saying goodbye.